I hope you are ready for your oral blessing. Just wait. Sound of my childhood. Good to have a warning. Hmm. Good morning. This is Calamity Calling, and today I'm playing Hypnagogia. So uh, it's supposedly based on real people's dreams for the LSD jam. So if I don't feel like I am tripping balls because of this. They weren't taking enough LSD. I expect to see dragons on fridges and rainbow unicorns farting gnomes. I don't know where I was going with that one, but we're still gonna play because you know, this looks like fun. Dream Hub. Also, PlayStation 1 graphics on point. Actually, this is probably earlier than that. Hello. Oh. Hi, I'm Gogi. Welcome to the Dream Hub. You can view controls or leave the hub from the pause menu using the tab or start key if you're using a controller. There is one bright red crystal in each dream. They may be hard to find, so look everywhere and talk to everyone. Also, things may get weird or surreal later. These are dreams after all. If something really weird happens though, be sure to let the dev know. Anywho, you'll probably be seeing me around. I'll activate the first pillar for you. Catch you later. Bye, bunny. Oh. Oh, that makes me happy. Can I fly? How do I? Do I just... Oh. Died. That was quick, wasn't it? I want to... I want to be over there. Come on, bun. Yep, 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 yep. How do I get there? I know that's the job button. Huh. Nope. Let me try holding down all the buttons. Do I need to just stand right, like look right at the edge and jump at the very last moment? Yes! Did it, so proud. Ooh, that was a sound. Don't know what sound, but it was a sound. A uh, vagina tree. Berry bushes. Thought there might be a cave. Um, nope, no caves. Always keep an eye out for secret caves. Boing. Hello. Little trees float here. What a warm, fuzzy feeling I have right now. The cats here will be happy to see a new face. You tell them Gogi said hello. Sure. Because you look like food to them, no doubt. Everything's very pretty. I do appreciate the aesthetic here. Hello. Uh, I see no cats. Oh, never mind. Found one. You all right? Greetings, traveler. We've been expecting you. Please visit our temple and speak with our elder cat. It sits on the east top of the hill. You can't miss it. I bet I'll miss it. Right, uh, more floating cat trees as I have now deduced. Cute little statues. Uh, you think I'm not gonna check round here? I have learned my lesson from many video games. Oh. Bit disappointed, I thought there'd be something around here. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Cat, I, I must speak with you. Welcome, oh look at his little pink nose. Welcome to our sanctuary, Traveller. It is an honour to have you here. We hope you find peace and comfort within our walls. Please stay as long as you like. I mean, I wasn't going to leave before I was ready, if that's what you're saying. Um, I like all the pixel trees, very Minecrafty. Hello, other cat. You are a pleasant sight for an old cat. Don't mind me, just keeping the grounds clean. If you wish to speak with our leader, he is inside. 
Our ears match. I'm just gonna look everywhere because never know what you'll find. I do like an Easter egg. Not only because I, I like chocolate. Hello kitties doing yoga. I'm gonna speak to you because you're the only one there's one of. They are meditating. Best to leave them undisturbed. Or maybe it's my duty to disturb them because then we can see, ooh, that is a big kitty. This looks like the cat from, um, I literally just finished it. Why don't I know the name from Little Hope? The same sort of ashy face. Otto Beans, hello. Welcome to our sacred tower, restful one. Your presence is of the highest honor to us. Now to business, I wish to make a trade with you. I haven't eaten all day and grow very hungry. The monks are too busy to help me, but you look up to the task. Bring me a fish with which to eat and I will reward you. Hurry now, I'll be waiting here. Excuse me, where's a fish? It looks like the elder has given you a task. I'm sure it has to do with food. He is always hungry. Try looking around the temple grounds. I'm sure you'll find something. Right, fish. If I was a fish surrounded by cats, where would I hide? Um, is the fish the normal size fish or is it a fish suited to the size of that cat? Because if it's a fish suited to the size of that cat, it should be pretty easy to find, I think. But if it's a regular size fish, that won't necessarily be easy. Hmm. Fish. Oh, sorry. Is there a run button? Do you happen to know? Excuse me. Helping our elder with a small task. How noble of you. As you can see, we are a busy people. Lots to do, lots to do. Thank you for your kindness. It does not go unnoticed. Tell me where the fish is. Oh, you've moved. I think. Let me just... Excuse me. You know where fish is? I hear gossip of a task you've been given by our elder. I'm afraid I don't have much in the way of help, but you should try speaking with our welcome monk down the stairs over there. See, that's actually very helpful. Thank you. I appreciate your assistance. Unlike the rest of them, looking for me, you say, I believe I can show you in the right direction. I keep a small bundle of fish for snacking when I get hungry. Take a look under the ramp leading towards the temple. Feel free to take as much as you like. Thank you. You are a nice person. Fish. 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 There's some fish here. The elder would find this satisfactory. You take the fish. They are pungent and slimy. You are barely able to hold them all. I see now they are big fish. Oh, I could have found them immediately if I'd just gone through the other side, but I thought the hedges, you know, PlayStation style, you couldn't get through them. They were solid obstacles. Right, big cat, where are you at? Which way was it? Here it is. I would like to be able to walk a little faster. Although I do enjoy how everything looks. Hello again, big moggy with your terrifying colored eyes. Oh, he's moved. I have a snack for you. Mmm, delicious. Thank you for your offering, kind traveller. I will honour my end of the bargain and grant you passage. Please ascend to the steps above the top of our temple. What you find there will help you in your journey. Good fortune on you and take care. Wow. Where's the stairs? Are there now magically stairs? There are now magically stairs. How many times am I going to fall off these, do you think? Just trying to get to the top. Let me just look at... Oh, he's cute. Hup. Hup. Ah, uh, hup. You know, we've got to do it Tomb Raider style. Hup. Except I would then also have conical breasts and I'm not really for that one. They don't make, they don't make bras for that shape anymore. Ah, uh, hup. Just wait for it to come up. Hup. I am clearly in very good physical shape to be able to do this. Not me, obviously. I am not in good enough physical shape to do this. I'd get tired halfway up. Hell, if I got up the first step. This is a big ass jump. My knees probably wouldn't do well with it. Um... Oh, I will speak to the kitty first. With his little tail. Oh. It's not often we get to see a sunrise as beautiful as this one. Take a moment to breathe. Relax those shoulders. Stretch. The scenery below is just an added bonus. 
to rest our weary eyes on. Take good care of yourself. You and others will appreciate it. It is pretty. But I'm out of here, boo. Whee! Oh, I feel like I can hear it right on the bottom half of my ear. Dream hub. Oh, please don't make me die again. Right, right to the edge and leap. Hello, bun. Did you know this game was made by one person for the 2020 LSD jam? I did, and they did a very good job. The devs spent a total of 26 days finalizing the code, art, and animations. They worked from October 30th through November 25th for, really, for nearly eight hours a day. Well, their work was worth it. Good job. Look down at the floor, so I jump at the very last minute. There we go. And in we go. What is the next dream I will experience? And did they have to take LSD to make this? Oh. Oh. Oh, this makes me uncomfortable. Traverse the sky. I feel like I'm going to fall through. Whoa, bit of a draft way up here, wouldn't you agree? Sometimes I forget to stop and breathe a little. In a world full of problems, a soft sound of waves calms us all. You'll be fine. Just don't look down. Blech. Immediately looks down. Right. Whoop. Ah, uh, whoop. Ooh, ooh, no, that gives me all sorts of shivery timbers. Hello. Are you up here because you had lots of worries too? I like it because it lets me clear my head and finally think. Don't bother wasting time dwelling on the past, I say. Uh, I would disagree with you because the past is what makes us who we are in the future, but um, we are all entitled to our own opinions. Uh, yep. 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 Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Looking at the floor again, so I know exactly when to... Yep. Wah. Hello. Is there another sparkly thing over here to talk to? No? Okay. Oh, oh I can talk with the statue. Mildred is a vast, Mildred is a vastly honoured and often obeyed god. Answers, riddles, and life are principal elements of this divine being. Civilization once thought of him as tolerant and resourceful. Uh, good for him. Hello, sparkly thing. Ah! Don't make me start again. Oh, do you know what? Speed run. There, jumping both times. Clouds are so underappreciated. Just look at them. They're majestic chariots of air, water, and lightning. Something so delicate, yet so deadly. It's rather humbling. I mean, yeah. People don't seem to know that how much clouds weigh. Hello. Guess. Juice? Gaius? I don't know how to pronounce that. Is a greatly esteemed and hugely obeyed god. Property, nature, and birth are dominant elements of this divine being. Underlings and servants once thought, once thought of him as monstrous and insulting. I mean, he doesn't look that much different from the other dude, if I'm honest. But all right, I get it. We all have our favourites. Ah, uh, yep. Ah, uh, yep. Ah, uh, yep. Ooh, this dude looks like a wind chime. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't like that block specifically. It looks weird. Hello. Welcome to my sky palace. You seem pretty far from home, am I right? Well, unfortunately, if you wish to proceed, you must face a challenge. You must fight me to the death in a battle of epic proportions. I'm kidding. What would I even do? I just float and chime. Not much of a threat. What I can do, however, is show you the way home. Just talk to my brother over yonder. He looks like me, only smaller. I mean... Um... I can't see your brother, but I'm assuming he's this way. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming up here? Yeah. That's not your brother? Okay, so this way. Yeah. Excuse me, he said you were smaller than that's a big gem. Hello. I'm not normally a fan of big heights. Gives me the chills. Flying this high would be dangerous in any other circumstance. There's a bellowy pillow of clouds under us though, so that's nice at least. 
I was told to expect wind chimes. Oh, sure. Oh, I thought I nearly jumped off the edge. How, how do I get there? I see. Ha. Hello. Ah, isn't this the mine? Isn't the mind a beautiful place to escape to? There's no limits here. You're free to do whatever you want. It's a bit frightening being given so much power, don't you think? Right now, I'm facing robot jaguars on the moon. Uh, no you're not. But sure. Live your best life. Oh, you're the mini brother. Hello. I assume we've spoken to my older brother back there. He likes a good joke from time to time, as you can guess. Anyways, the path behind me takes you deeper into the dream. I'll open it for you. We always appreciate visitors, so come see us in our beautiful statue sometime again. Uh, again, sorry. Um, what? Oh, there are so many risks to my life right here. I thought that was gonna, like, fly. These glassy edges are somewhat difficult for me. I keep feeling like I'm gonna fall down them. Huh. Oh, oh my god, this is, this is anxious. This is causing me anxiety. Just gotta make sure I stay on the path. Stay on the path, stay on the path, stay on the path. Be safe on the path. If I fell down there, I would be mighty unhappy at myself. Ooh, nearly jumped off it. Oh yeah, there we go. Shiny thing. Oh, that was a noise. Dream hub. Ooh, oh, there's the bunny. So look at the floor and jump. Oh, lean forward because like that will somehow help me. Right, come on, bunny. I'm coming at you, bro. Ah, I could stop doing that. I can't affect it. Did you know there are meant there may be many secrets hidden here and throughout the dreams you explore? I heard a good way to find them is to look for walls with significantly different textures. Someone even told me of an entire secret world hidden within one of our one of the later dreams. I know in one of the first world, in the first world, the cat world, I did see a place with a very different wall. Yeah. Oh, oh no, oh no. I did a stupid. Hmm. Yeah, did it. Let me in please. Why does my mouse keep ending up in the middle of my screen? I keep putting it off screen. Learn to swim. No thank you, it was traumatic enough the first time. Hello, Mr. Bun. Oh, he's, like, he's wearing a little bubble helmet, that's cute. From the top of infinity to as deep as deep can go. This flowing weightlessness is a comforting blanket. Let the water take you to where it needs to and enjoy the ride. Um, Enjoy the ride? No, thank you. I'm gonna go left first because there's a thingy up here. There's another bun. Uh... Hello. When things become lost, they are reclaimed by the deep ocean. The material items, civilizations are all here. You never know what you'll find. Some would say something like that is unfathomable. I'll be here all week. Mm, I'm good. Ooh. Boing. Boing. Hello, sir. Was this pyramid built here or up there? Why would you build something so deep down here? These are the things that keep me up at night. Those platforms are looking real curious right now though. Sir, I feel there may be things in life that... Woo! Oh, I can't swim. That's a big fishy. Hmm. Can I not go up there? Nope, okay, let's go this way then. Maybe this brings me up to the slope, or up the slope rather. Um, weird tree, you can stay there. What's up bro? I've been down here a long time and managed to collect quite a few trinkets. Only thing I can't stop thinking about is, is owning a nice big crusty anchor. Maybe I could interest you in helping me look for one? In exchange, I'll set you up with one of my most prized possessions. Let me know when you found an anchor. Oh, I forget I can jump quite high. 
Right, if you're an anchor, where would you hide? Oh, I didn't know I could get up here. Hmm. Maybe I can get onto the slope from up, get onto the platform from up here, sorry. I mean, I can jump rather high. Anchor. Come on, no, too far. Hmm. Anchor. I don't think I've even seen an anchor thus far. Right, maybe it's up here. Am I gonna steal one from a boat? Hmm, can't jump high enough for that one. Maybe if I jump from here? Nope. Right, we gotta find this dude an anchor. If you were an anchor, where would you be here? The only way I haven't gone, I guess, is this way. Oh, anchor, where are you hiding? Let me through, please. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen an anchor? Hey man, what's the rush? Just chill, hang out, relax. Those eel fish you see above are mega passive, just doing their thing. Forget about all that, man. Pull up a statue and powwow with me and my friend here. No, thank you. Can I jump up here? No. Hmm. Anchor! Found it! This is mine. A massive iron anchor clad with a thick coat of rust. You somehow pick it up and put it in your pocket. Bye dude! Now that's what I'm talking about. That's one good looking anchor. I'll set it up front and centre for all the world to see. Thanks for nabbing that for me. My prized possession you ask? Climb those platforms over there. You'll find it at the tip top. So you couldn't have been a bit more helpful, could you? Yeah. Oh wait, no, I need to go up the pyramid. Never mind. Well, I guess I just took the long way around. At least you can't like seriously fall off and hurt yourself, you just float down. Ooh, this looks like that, I was gonna say this looks like that one from Animal, that big dino fish from Animal Crossing, but no, definitely does not look like the big dino fish from Animal Crossing. Which I was playing the turkey event, turkey day event last time, and I found the, ooh, I was gonna run straight off that edge. Uh, I found like two of the three, two out of four, sorry, the things to upgrade the recipes. So I'm not mad at myself. Hello. Phew, I'm winded. What brings you up here? Trying to check out that weird artifact? Fair enough. Well, don't mind me. I'll just be admiring the foggy scenery. Okay. You do you. Boing. I'm just going to keep doing me. And me doing me requires me to go this way. Boing. Boing. Oh, I'm so happy that I had some crossover there. And boing. And let me out, please. I miss gravity. See, it keeps putting my mouse back to the middle. I don't know why it does that. I have even more steps to climb now. Why is this pillar getting taller? You lot are making me work harder and harder. I hope you realise that. Boing. Oh, I'd forgotten what the gravity was like after being in the water. You know like when you get off a tram trampoline? After bouncing it, like, bouncing feels like you hit the ground too soon. Oh, I wish I had a garden. I would so balls. Yeah, see, it keeps bringing the mouse back to the middle. I would so exercise a lot more. Well, they're probably not good for my knees. Well, there's no probably about it. It's not good for my knees. Ah, uh, when you have hypermobility, don't do sports, especially when no doctors have ever told you you have hypermobility, just in, your legs fall apart a bit. 
Did you know the dev is a huge fan of 90s 3D games if you haven't already guessed? Their favourite titles include Mega Man Legend, Mario 64, Silent Hill and the LSD Dream Emulator, just to name a few. Just to, you know, not to flex or anything, but just to name a few! Whew. I thought I wasn't going to make it. Off the screen we go. Hmm, what dream are we going to see? Over the hedge. Ah, Shrek. Hmm. What does this say? Do not fear the mind of Labyrinth. It is only a singular passage. Hello, Yellow Bun. I'm going to call you Pika Bun. Life gets compared to a lot of things, you know. A beach, a game, or something about lemons. I think it's mostly like a big old maze. Put up all those other things in a maze. And you get better comparison. Just thinking about it is making my head spin. Don't get lost. Bye, Pika Bunny. Mm. That a wall. Okay. Don't go that way. Hmm. Yellow thing on the other side of a brick wall. Eh. Let me in. Cause I just somehow managed to like sit on the brick wall. Hmm, okay. I thought that was one of those secrety areas it was talking about. Oh, what does this say? If lost or confused, please call your guardian. I don't think that'd help. Boing. Uh, right, my sense of direction is notoriously terrible. Excuse me, sir. It's, I'm so tired, so sleepy, so comfy. You should find another way. Am I in Pokemon or something? Go away, Snorlax. Rim away. Stupid Snorlax. Excuse me, can I borrow your hedge cutters? You're gonna help me trim these hedges? Ah, don't bother. If it's one thing I don't need, it's someone messing things up. All these young folks sleeping in all day wearing their fancy knickknacks. Back in my day, I'm sorry, were TVs coloured then? Uh, we landscaped till the sun came up. That was our entertainment. I'm sorry for the childhood you had to endure. If all you had to do was landscape. What if you didn't want to landscape? I keep seeing gaps in the walls and I don't know if that's just like how it's been programmed or if these are actually, you know, like separate doors kind of thing. Because I'm jumping at them. The only options I have so far are walk and jump, so. so if I go here, that brings me there. Okay, so let's go this way. Um, which may or may not bring me out at Snorlax. Oh, this does seem like a new path. Ooh. Oh, here's another one. Blow me down with a feather. The orange figure watches you whilst you dream. Can he not? That's weird. It's my dream. He doesn't. Ooh! A hefty looking chest is sitting here. You swear you've seen it before. You try opening it, but locked securely. Where would one find a key? Well, feck if I know. Um. So if I go back here. Back around here, and back around here again. There should be two options for where to go, right? Aha! What's down here? Is this the If Lost Call Guardian? Yes. So maybe the Snorlax will be awake now? Um, indigenous maze plants, do not touch. Well, indigenous maze plants. I want to. Well, can't say I didn't try. Hello? Oh, hello! Can we be friends? You look like someone that can't get where they need to be. Let me guess, my bro is in the way again sleeping? I'll have him move for you. Catch you later, bub. Thank you, but I don't know how to get back to where your brother is, uh, in all honesty. The Snorlax was sleeping in. No, 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 other way. Sorry, that was the mazy bit. 
so it should be this way that Snorlax was. Hello! Did your brother wake you up? I'm not sorry. Was I in the way? Sorry, I get so tired lazing about all day. I feel bad now. I know, I'll make it up to you with a gift. Take my old skeleton key. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Hang on, I need to find the treasure chest. Oh, okay. Hang on. Yep, hang on, give me the key. Back I go. Let's see if I remember the way. I don't, is the answer. Uh, windy, windy. Windy, 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 wind. And it should be this way. Around here? Yes. Okay, let me in. You insert the key you got from the sleepy maze goblin. The inner workings of the chest locking mechanisms click as it opens. Yay! You find a shiny golden coin. Something tells you this is your lucky day. Yay! Got a shiny coin. Got a shiny coin. Have a good day. Tick plants! Offer a coin and your wish will come true. You flip the coin you found into the fountain. Your wish will forever remain a secret. Why? Ooh! New entryway! Hello? I'm assuming that's the way to go, but I want to read the signs. Where one path ends, three branch from it. Don't do that. Because I'll get lost in two out of the three. So you end there. Okay. Um, sincerely lost and confused. Ooh, found the shiny thing. Found the shiny thing. Found the shiny thing. Da, 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 da. Did it. Got the shiny thing. It's a good day when you find the shiny thing. Ah. Oh, that means there's about three or four more, maybe. Okay, and we hop. And we hop. Oh, that was a close one, wasn't it? Hop. Right on the very edge. Hop. That was close. Bunny, did you know I was the first model the dev made and animated when production began? The idea of a cute mini white rabbit leading you around dreams suddenly sounded very Alice in Wonderland, so I was born. My name Gogi is derived from the title Hypnagogia, and you pronounce it Hypnagogia. Ah, well, I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. Hypnagogia. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh! Yeah, there, did it. There should be four more, I believe. Don't like this place. This place is a bad dream. Is this the end of the world? Or the end of something more metaphorical? The weather's not doing us any favours. But don't think about it too hard. It's a scary world out there. Especially if it's your world that's in the mix. Strangers may try to fool you, but they have no control over your choices. I mean, in theory they don't, but in actuality they probably do. Hello, sir. You alright? Hey man, got any loose change with you? I need to get out of the rain. None at all? That's fine, I guess. Take care out there. I'll just stay here, hoping the next guy will come along with something for me. I mean, if I find some change, I'll give it to you. But I, I don't have any. I'm sorry. Um, what on earth is that structure? Let's see if I can get up there. Oh, at least you have a chair. There's so much garbage strewn around all the time. The floor you're walking on right now, made of garbage. These clothes I'm wearing, complete garbage. Why bother recycling our trash when we can just make new trash? Um... Can I jump anywhere? No. What's under here? Round here? What's that? Hello. You okay? We won't last long 
this close to our breaking point. Take it from me, man. I mean, look at the state we live in. It's rough. We all need to wake up and face reality. It's downhill. Always has been. You, sir, can stay out there. You discomfort me. So, I'm guessing from the menu, because it went from upper to downer with the stars, it's just going to get darker and more miserable the further in we go. Oh, hello. Didn't notice you there. There's an overwhelming amount of ways to keep ourselves entertained nowadays, although I yearn for the good old days when we just sat back and read a book. Books. They seem to be in pretty short supply lately. Tell you what, you find me a nice book to read and I'll give you a hint. Seems like a fair trade, right? Knowledge for knowledge? Uh, speak for yourself. I still read books. Quite a lot of them, actually. Love books. Am I going to literally find the end of the world? Because I'm not ready for that kind of, like all-out philosophical questioning. Hello, car. I'm gonna jump on top of you. I guess I can. Never mind. Here's a fire. It's good that there's still places to find warmth here. Is that a book? That looks like a book. I want to be there. Excuse me. Am I really small? Are you looking, to ch looking here to check out this thing too? Yeah, good looking structure. Always been here for some reason. No clue what's at the end of it always give it a go but you know not really feeling it if you're brave enough to hop over there let me know if you find anything i mean i might find a book oh hang on there ah i can't get up there just yet book <gasps> book no just the bottom of your shoes oh wrong button go away we're full Um, do you know where a book is? Go away, we're full up. Well, I'm not trying to eat you or be eaten, so your state of fullness or satiation doesn't matter. I'm trying to find a book. What's that red thing? Brick wall. Excuse me, do you know where some books are? Book! No. Excuse me, can I have a book? If you're looking for a book, I can sell you my dictionary. It's all I've got. No money on you? Ah, no money kidding, it's not worth anything anyway. It's yours, just take it. There's an old dictionary here. Marin Jebster's Collegiate Dictionary. Fascinating read, you're sure. Okay, but, um... So it's the man who's le leaning by a post in the water who wants the dictionary. Oh wait, or was it the man on the chair? No, because this is kind of where I started. And then I went this way. Do you want the book? Was it you? Might be you. I have a book for you. Yeah. Dictionary, is that your idea of a hilarious joke? Wasn't what I had in mind when I mentioned entertainment, but it's better than nothing, I guess. If anything, should make good kindling. Now for my equally disappointing hint. At the edge of town there is a concrete structure covered by graffiti. It's been there longer than I can remember. No one's been brave enough to explore it. Everyone says there seems some kind of shining object at the end of it. You should go check it out. That is a very disappointing hint. He is correct, yes. Is there another step now? Yay! There is another step. This is good. Excuse me, you're in my way. In the nicest way. Even if it's not, I don't care. Ooh, ooh, this is, a, this is, this is going to make me die. Oh! Well, I did say. Ooh. This is stressing me out. If I die again, I'm gonna be sad. No! Oh, now I'm gonna have to do that stuff again. Being super duper careful now. Yes, I spoke to you already.
trying to see if maybe I made the wrong jump and that's why I died. Um, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Let me just uh, look down to make sure I jump at the last possible moment. Whew. Okay. So here. Just checking that there's nowhere else I have to go. Nope. Just up there. Okay. Okay. So I have to go this way. Okay. No! This is the last time I'll try this because I want to throw my controller. Any idea how anxious this makes me? <gasps> makes me a bit travel sick looking at that actually. So, I did have the intention of playing this game until um, till the end, because it can get frustrating when you want to see how a game ends and you know it doesn't. But uh, I have now uh, died seven times trying to climb that structure, and every time have to walk to the guy who wants the book, walk back to the guy who has the dictionary, walk back to the guy who has the book, climb it, and basically I spend less time climbing and more time just doing that same step over and over again, and I know that's... Um, you know, part of the PlayStation 1 experience, but I'm not enjoying it. It's actively making me frustrated and I don't want to play it anymore because I am so frustrated. Um, so I enjoyed this game up to this point. Uh, I've had enough. So I'm leaving this one here. Maybe I will come back and finish it because there are still three gems. Uh, but yeah, I'm done for today. So. I hope you have a very lovely day, and most importantly of all, you do you.